old times speak of an unchanging world. Man. The spirits. The gods. Each in its own domain, taking its place in the way of things. So it was for a thousand lifetimes of men. The end to that world came in a day. Change fell from the sky. A blazing comet from the farthest heavens. Where it landed, it punched a hole through more than just rock. It tore at reality itself. The barriers between the heavenly realms were forever broken. From the smoking crater drifted a new kind of energy that the world of men had never seen. A power called magic. The old world had died. In its place came a world of wonder and possibility. Word spread of this new power. From far off realms, people traveled to the crater to stake their own claim in this newborn world. A city took root. They called it Starfall. It is here that my rebirth truly begins. Hello everyone, and today we're taking a look at Spell Drifter. Now Spell Drifter is a hybrid between a turn-based RPG and a deck building game. So we're going to move around turn-based style, attack turn-based style, but our attacks and defenses are all going to be with cards. Now you can find this game on Steam, and I will have a link down below if this something interests you. So let's hop in and take a look. We'll do a new campaign. delete these yes delete Confirm. Okay. there we go new game Morgan makes his way to the densely packed slum that surround the north gate of Starfall the streets are mostly empty as the noontime sun beats down on the city in these unfamiliar surroundings, he searches for a sign that he is on the path his ancestors have set for him. The city burns, and the cries of its people echo in the night. What madness drives these people to war upon themselves? The gates to the city are barred. Is this where my quest for redemption ends? Some forsaken district on the outskirts of the city? Go. Now, this game can be kind of tough. can be kind of tough. All right, listen, guys, I don't want any trouble. I just want out. The new chief says, when you stay or go. And he says, you stay. Big reward for those who brings you in. First one touches me, loses a hand. Oh, ho, ho. kitten's grown claws. Sorry, love. Three on one doesn't look good for you. Of course, what the boss has in mind for you don't look good neither. Perhaps three on two would be a bit more of a challenge. Get lost, Outlander. This is company business. You don't have the look of businessmen. All right, then. Lads, let's deal with the White Knight and get and get her back to the Chief. Defeat the thugs. All right, so here we go. So for moving, we just move us around. Uh, so we'll click and drag. And if you hold on to them, you can see me. Or you can click on the enemies and see the enemies also. Um, don't matter where I go. Well, let's go here. And we're gonna smack him. Here. And we'll take two for this one, because he has eight hit points. You can see right there. And since we won the fight, we get a card. So now we got block, which we can gain armor on our next turn. Are you all right? I've been worse. Can't say much for Dominic and his, and his toadies. Thank you. Morgan, some call me Twiceborn. 
You work with these businessmen? It's a long story. Let's just say poor life choices. I'm fading, by the way. Listen, thanks again for the help, but you better scram. These guys really like to hold a grudge. You don't want to be here. I don't fear the likes of these. If you can lead me into the city, I can make sure they don't trouble you. Hmm. If I help you, you might be able to help me. The organization controls passages beneath the wall. We can get into Starfall that way. My dogs went in there too. Private entrance. After night falls, Faden leads Corgan to a secluded grotto. Behind the ring of dusty hovels, there illuminated by a single red lantern is the concealed entrance to the cartel's underground tunnel network. Let the fight begin. This is the place. Uh, you usually have a guard posted. An abandoned well? It connects to the city sewers. I know, right? When the locals found out, they stopped using it years ago. Quietly now. If they hear us coming, they will call for help. Oi! Who goes there? Okay, timeline shows which character will act. I'm first. Each time you act, you advance along the timeline. Number of ticks equal to the actions. Uh, actions cost. Okay. So this will cost me one. If I use my my uh, guard. And then my attack is three. So let's move here. Guard. Uh, we're going to guard again. All right, so we'll go here. Okay, I'll move up. Now, this next guy is super tough. And it's like, <laughs> it is, this is a tough fight. He'll have this massive attack. Right here. So I think I get an extra card for each. It can't be each round. I'm not sure what this is. Point to use, maybe? Hopefully it describes it more. Um, so we're going to need to get better armor because this mighty blow is nasty and you can't get away from it. I try moving and he still hits me with it. He's going to knock me way back, too. Hit him. Okay, throw the block up. See, this is the crap that I was having issues with before. Uh, I've lost to him many times because he kept doing this. And he would just do massive damage to me. See right here, and I'm not gonna win this fight right here because he's re uh, replenishing this over and over again, and he'll kill me right here. I don't know how to keep it so he doesn't have that massive attack every time, and I can't get away from it. That's why I said this is difficult. Now, when I tried this, when I played it, I beat it. The very first time but for some odd reason when i want to record a video i can't get this <laughs> i can't get it to win oh i didn't want to go here he's gonna hit me oh this is not good okay i need all the hit points i can get Yeah, 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 he's coming.
See, if I go here. He hits me all the way out there. So you cannot get away from that attack. That's such a little hit, too. I'm gonna I'll probably end up losing this one again unless I get a good hit on him. As long as he doesn't bring that back up all over again. Okay, here we go. Jeez. I tried this fight several different times and he just constantly recharges that and then you can't get out of it. Now again, we win, we get some cards. We got melee charge. Uh, I want to do the d armor. Let's get me some more armor on this. I don't know if I get them all. I might get them all. Hey there, big guy. You look like you've uh, seen a ghost. You okay? Take it from me. These guys were the worst that Starfall has to offer. It isn't that. I've seen much death. This one here. His cloak reminds me of an old friend. He would bind it with trophies like that to uh, mark each kill. Look here. By my grandfather's, this is his cloak. You think these guys know something about your friend? If Darment is alive... And you can replay these if you want to. I'm not going to replay that one because that guy's a nasty. Making your way down to the ancient rickety wooden ladder and through the cramped series of tunnels from the pool at the bottom of the well... Faden and Corgan come to a large natural cave. The cartel has long used these tunnels for smuggling illicit stardust out of the city. There has been a lot more traffic within these, uh, with, with the city sealed up tight. Why have the gates been barred? There's something happening to the rift at the heart of the city. It seems to be growing. Some people are scared and want out. But a flood of outlanders have been trying to get in. So they locked the gates. Hey, I wonder if your friend Darmet was one of them. Quietly now, someone's up ahead. Machine? Machines. What an assortment of strange contraptions. A siege bot. The cartel have been working with an engineer now? Oh, this is bad. I've faced flesh eaters in the ruins of... Kia? This won't stop me. Okay then, here's the plan. You take out the big one, I've got the rest of them. Wait, did you say flesh eaters? Like, people flesh? Okay, each hero starts a battle with three cards drawn in their deck. To find more about the cards in your hand, use the right mouse button to inspect. Doesn't really help me out at all. And we just wallop him, wallop him. So I moved back quite a ways. Yeah, so this just adds up all of my points that I've been using. We'll go over here. Uh, we'll use the one to get over here. Oh, he's shooting her. Uh, big wall up. There we go. Why oh, is it so bad? Why oh, is it so bad? What do we get? Bladed buckler. Equipped bladed buckler. 
Warfare offhand. This is new. Why would the guild be working with a bunch of two-bit clowns? An hour ago, you were one of them. I'm not, I mean, not what it looks like. I have a score to settle with one of them. But when the, the new boss took over, he was promoted, and I couldn't get close enough. Vengeance is a dangerous road that can lead a person to darkness and ruin. Well, I don't want to kill him. I just want to hurt him a little. Oh, okay. The two adventures come up, uh, come to a point where the path narrows uh, to cross a time-worn stone bridge. The edge of the bridge have crumbled away, leaving only a slim path. Okay, looks cool. This is the perfect place for an ambush. With all that noise, they must know we're here by now. All right, Mr. Ambushers, we're in a bit of a rush, so can we get on with the, you know, ambushing? Um, okay, I didn't actually expect that to work. Equipment cards upgrade the character's basic abilities. Okay, play it. Now we can use it. Gain plus one plus one armor and counter strike two until your next turn. Unquenchable spirit strength your fill. Grants Corgan two adjacent enemies who attack him will take two piercing damage in return. doing like no damage mm. where are we at I don't really uh, a regular block would be nice our block meant armor block alert. don't really move much What's this? Arozet's my sword. Found something? How did this wretch come to possess this? I lost it on the plains of Ket Ketna, you mean Shengjang? That's 500 leagues from here. You really get around. There was a battle. We were surrounded. I never thought I'd see this again. Now you found it. Yay. Arozet. What's that mean? Like peacekeeper or something? It means orphan maker. <laughs> oh, charming. Uh, equip the weapon. Oh, the, we're not done? Trusty sword. Hell's blade be true. Roar. Okay, this dude. Okay, so he's the final one. Uh oh, you woke up Hazak. Trusty sword deals six damage. Sure. <laughs> Oh, why does everybody have such a massive knockback? Can't even get there. Um, oh, well, I expected him to come at me. I just pass my turn. Enough waiting. Oh, is this it? Damn it, action speed. No. Oh my god, I go again? Um... Can't do anything. Hell's blade be true. Oh, 
all the way to the corner. He just really lays it into you, don't he? So if we move here, block. Drink your fill. Oh, I go again. Ooh, uh, whack him hard. Okay. Okay. Well, else? we have another equipment. I don't think we're going to get any information from this one. Not unless he can grow a new head. A sword. Darmit's old cloak? What's the connection? There must be a purpose behind this. To find him now, in this place... The Lieutenant. On the other side of the heavy iron door, Corgan and Faden come to a finished stone chamber that thrums with the low hum of working machinery. Along the walls, gleaming steel automa uh, automatons stand inert, as if waiting to be deployed to parts unknown. Oh, this guy's gonna be tough. Isn't it? Oh! Oh! I don't have very many hit points. Enough of these infernal machines. I've never seen so many in one place before. We must be near the cartel's lair. And near to him. Alright. So, let's move here. The guard. Well, that thing moved very far. Get rid of him. With four hit points, let's... You win. Ah, oh, good. Okay. Oliver! It is you, you bastard. We've hunted you for ten years, and now I've found you. Is that... Aiden? Why, my dear girl, look at you, a, wo a woman grown. And I see you've already fallen with the unsavory company, just like your mother. Don't you dare say her name. Call her mother. Is that her name? You wasted away her fortune on dice and hounds and left her sick and ruined. Now, where is a cheery little girl that I used to know? As I recall it, your mother was always happy to make uh, to take me back. Perhaps even still. She's dead because of you. I swore to her that she lay, uh, as she lay dying, that I would make you feel the pain she felt. Dead, you say? Well, that's a pity. Our time in this world is fleeting. Now, as much as I enjoy this little family reunion, it's time for you two trespassers to be gone. Okay, so, um, I don't know if they're going to be able to get to me. Okay. Oh, kill her! Ah, that'll work. All right. Where's Darmot? What do you know about him? Darmot? Who? I thought this was a, about that old strumpet. I don't know anything by that name, mate. That's his dagger on your belt. What? This? The chief gave this to me. 
Why don't you step closer and I'll give you a better look. Oh, this is gonna make it easy. Um. Oh, I don't have hex. Um. I taunt. Taunt. My tail's blood. There we go. He's gone. I let her get the last attack. What do we got? Slave's Blade. Faden, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. I dreamt about this day for years, but now I still kind of feel like poop. But hey. You had your friend's dagger, so that must mean we're really close, right? It is a credit to your spirit that revenge does not sustain you. Somewhere, somewhere here, there has to be an entrance to the lair. Ah, look, a secret passage. Behind me. Let's get the uh, to the heart of all this. All right. Well, we are going to end it here. So this is Spell Drifter. You can find it on Steam. I will have a link down below. Uh, but I'd just like to thank you all for spending some time here. If you did enjoy this, hit that like button. And if you are new here, like to see more content like this, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time.